There it is, folks. That is the Sprinter 32BH. It's a 2022 model. We'll look at a couple features on the inside. We'll look at the outside. So this one, up in this front pass, uh, this front storage area, has the uh, quick connect for your battery. But you don't really need to disconnect it if you you're parked in where there's sunlight. This the solar charge controller is hooked up to a solar panel up on the roof. There's no battery. See, there's no battery in this one right here. Uh, am I getting that? There it is. The battery has not yet been installed, but the lights are working inside. So let's take a look real quick at this uh, pass-through storage. Oop, that's how it closes. Let me see how it opens. This door is heavy right here. It goes all the way through. It's the in-command system. So you can download an app and control everything from your phone, the air conditioner, the awning, the lights, heating, HVAC, all that stuff. So this is a solid door. Here's a place you can uh, hook up your outdoor TV. Got the solid steps there. Good grab handle, ease of entry. Very uh, stable way to get in and out. Look at this huge outdoor kitchen. It's got this big door on it. Uses it sort of as a roof. Because there's an awning on the other section on the other side of that slide. Of course, it's got a ladder and a walkable roof. But uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look inside. But that, again, that's, there's the outdoor kitchen. It's got a stove, a good-sized fridge, plenty of storage area there. And there is the awning. Stereo speakers. Uh, so let's take a look. This again is a 32BH. It's a Sprinter made by Keystone. Now, these lights are flashing in here. If you have any sensitivity for, you know, uh, seizures or anything like that, just as a warning, I don't think these are like strobe lights or anything, but they are flashing. So, because uh, we're just running on sunlight right here. So, uh, lights are flashing a little bit. There are the theater seats. That's Thomas Paine. That's the top of the line. Uh, seating right across from this big TV fireplace with the sound bar there. Again, sorry about the flashing lights in here. There's no battery in here. Uh, there is the uh, dinette. There is the uh, island and kitchen. You can see all that yourself. Lots of storage in here. Right here is a nice pantry. It's deep. Those are deep. I, uh, that's a uh, two and a half feet or so deep. It's pretty deep. I don't know if you can see from the outside. That's how deep it is. Some more storage there. Some more storage up there. And then some storage down here in a drawer. It's got a stainless steel sink. Nice faucet there. Nice fixture. Okay, so this is the BH. 32 BH. BH stands for bunkhouse. Let's take a look at the bunkhouse. Well, first thing in the bunkhouse, there's a bathroom right here. It's got a half bath. So that is straight. When you go you go in the door, it's right there on your right. It's in the bunk room. So you have to leave the bunk room. So in here, this is a jackknife sofa. It's got three drawers underneath it to put stuff. That opens up into a bed. There is a bed there. There's a window on this side. Uh, there's a ladder to get up here to this good sized bed. And there's a window up there. There's a, a skylight there. Uh, vent. It's, it's a vent where you can turn on that little fan there, get some ventilation. There is some storage here for, for your occupants to put their stuff and a place for a big screen TV. There is your fuse box. So this is the bunk room in the bunkhouse. Now, uh, one thing you might notice, all these windows are on the camp side. That's a desirable feature on an RV. So you're sitting here at your table looking out the window to your camp, your campsite. And it's got a, windows all the way around on this slide out. Uh, so it's, the windows are on the side that you most customers want them. We're going to go up these uh, two, three, two steps here to get to this uh, bathroom. It's a nice seating area right there. Plenty of leg room corner shower looks like good headroom in there if you're real tall send me your email I mean a text I'll measure the exact height for you if that's an issue any questions you have that's just an example 
of a question you might have. Uh, I could check any specifics for you. Just like I'm right around the corner, if you call me on the local telephone, well, we're all local now. Just dial my number and uh, ask me a question. I'll be happy to help. Let me give you my phone number real quick. Uh, my name is Duke and my uh, cell phone number, I wrote it down for you. Here it is. I'm in the Houston, Texas area. Just send me a text, give me a call. So I'm gonna go back up these stairs and take a look. We got a king size bed in here. You know what? I don't know if that is a king size bed. I think that's a queen size bed, but it's got plenty of space all the way around it. There's a queen size bed in this one. So plenty of room to get on and off the bed right there. There are wardrobes on each side of it, so uh, you've got plenty of space for your clothes for uh, two people storage up there If you have specific questions, just let me know what they are. I'll be happy to help you send me a text uh, Give me a call leave me a message if I'm not answering maybe with the customer uh, And basically what we'll do is if you like this model or any other models that I've uh, shown or you can help you find if, I, if you tell me what you're looking for I'll, I'll find our best match in our inventory uh, and uh, send you a video of it send you pictures uh, the floor plan let you check it out if you make a deal you can come over here and we'll disclose all the numbers and everything with no hassle uh, there'll be all the terms and conditions payments interest rate uh, you know our staff will disclose that to you before you drive here to the Houston Texas area you drive over here and do some urban camping we have a campsite on site with full hookups water electric and sewer and there's plenty of stuff to do in this area so you can come out and make a trip out of it you like you like traveling that's why you're looking at an RV we'll just drive on over here if you're far away you may spend the night in motel once be the last motel stay for a while then you get over here sign up do the paperwork we'll put the we'll do a demonstration of the rv it might take a couple hours but you'll, you'll be prepared for that we'll clue you in in advance what to expect and then uh after we do the walkthrough we'll put it in the campground and you can stay there for a few days several days if you want check out all our local uh, flavor the cuisine the tex-mex food we got cajun food around here we got chinatown uh, there's all types of events and things that you could check out. We've got the some world-class museums over here, history museum, natural science museum, uh, all kinds of things that uh, the really interesting stuff, enjoyable to see. We got NASA Space Center. Uh, you got the you got down here by Galveston and uh, Clear Lake. So it's a little bit of something. You like fishing? Bring your fishing pole. You can head on down and do some fishing. Our lakes down here in Texas or on the Gulf Coast try to help you out with that get you to some good fishing spots thank you very much for viewing my video I look forward to, to meeting with you